In this video, we're going to look at how to use PS Commander to command your desktop with PowerShell. PS Commander is a PowerShell module that you can install from the PowerShell gallery. You can use install module to install PS Commander, and after you've done that, you can import PS Commander into any PowerShell process. PS Commander actually starts a .NET Core uh, application that allows you to manage various parts of your um, Windows system using PowerShell scripts. So once I have um, the PS Commander module uh, installed and imported, what I can do is I can call install commander. And what that's going to do is it's actually going to set up uh, Windows to start commander whenever I log into uh, my machine. So it'll actually appear in the tray on the bottom right uh, once that happens. Next, I'm going to call start commander in this instance to actually start the commander process and um, start configuring it. So the first time you actually start Commander, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to open PS Script Pad with a, a kind of default template for the config file. So the way that Commander works is you actually use uh, this particular PS1 file, config.ps1, uh, and use the Commander commandlets inside here to configure Commander. So by default, we have uh, this toolbar icon set um, with um, one menu item for the documentation that will take you to Commander. So now how that looks is in the bottom right here, uh, I actually have the PS Commander um, tray icon uh, accessible. And if I right click on that, you'll see that I now have the documentation, the edit config button, and the exit button. So uh, that is kind of the default configuration for PS Commander. Now let's configure the Commander um, toolbar icon with a custom menu item um, based on something that we want to do with PowerShell. So one thing that I do commonly is uh, I need to navigate into the source directories for the various tools that we build at Iron Man Software. So one thing that I might want to do is include a new menu item that allows me to quickly open those source directories um, from Commander. So what I can do is create a new Commander menu item and I am going to use the menu item parameter here to specify some child menu items for this particular source menu item. So if I save this config file and we go back to Commander, you'll see that we have this new source um, option available. If I were to actually include a new menu item underneath source, uh, we're going to call this one PowerShell Universal, um, and then I can uh, specify an action. So this action is actually going to uh, open VS Code um, into my uh, source directory for PowerShell Universal. So I can just select Universal and Code. And now if I save this, Commander will um, reconfigure itself. And you can see that I have a source directory that has PowerShell Universal. And if I click that, it's actually going to open the PowerShell Universal um, source directory in VS Code. Now that we looked at menu items, let's look at another feature of PS Commander. This uh, allows you to actually create hotkeys um, that you can use globally on your Windows system. So you can use the new Commander hotkey commandlet to actually create a new hotkey that executes some PowerShell based on the key combination you pressed. So I'm going to update this config.ps1. Um, I'm using the key combination control T, and then I'm specifying an action of start process notepad. So if I save that, and now if I press Control T, you're going to see that uh, Notepad processes will open just with that keystroke. So you can set up these hotkeys to kind of um, you know issue whatever PowerShell commands you'd like. Um, one thing to note is that if there are conflicting hotkeys already uh, defined within Windows, your hotkey will not take precedence over that. So uh, you won't be able to actually override something like Control C or Control X. Um, you'll just have to come up with a new key combination um, for your particular configuration. Another feature of PS Commander is the ability to uh, associate files with actual script blocks that run inside um, PS Commander. So you can actually use the new Commander file association commandlet to actually associate a particular PowerShell script block with a uh, file extension. So on my config.ps1, I'm creating an association um, to the PS2 extension. Um, and then in the action, you're going to receive the actual file that was opened in the args0 variable. So in my particular uh, file association here, I actually am going to open notepad to the file that was actually opened. So um, 
if we look at the desktop, you'll see that I have this nice.ps2 file sitting here, and the icon has actually changed to the PS Commander icon. You can actually set your own custom icon if you'd like. But if you double click this now, uh, you can see Notepad opens because it actually executed that script block uh, that I defined here, where it accepted the um, argument from the action and then started Notepad. PS Commander also lets you set simple schedules using cron expressions. Uh, you can use the new commander schedule commandlet inside your config.ps1 to define a new schedule. Um, in this example, I have a cron expression that's uh, defined that will run every, or once every minute. Um, and then the action is actually using the burnt toast module to uh, show the text do something else. So as we work through, oh, and as you can see here, do something else actually popped up um, in the bottom right based on uh, my schedule. So every minute, it will actually tell me to do something else. You can also customize the Windows Explorer context menu uh, using PS Commander. To do this, use the new Commander context menu commandlet and specify an action and text. Uh, context menus actually have a lot of configuration options. You can set things like whether to uh, include this context menu on files, um, specific files with specific extensions um, for folders or um, folders that only appear in the uh, left hand side pane of a Windows Explorer menu. Uh, by default, this will just add a context menu to all files. So I'm adding an open with notepad context menu um, to all files and the action is actually gonna open notepad and we're gonna pass the arg zero again, which is gonna be the file path to the um, file we're opening. So now if I come to my nice.ps2 here, I can right click on it and you can see now I have open with notepad. When I click that, you're gonna see that nice.ps2 actually opens and it did that because it invoked the action that I defined inside my new commander context menu. PS Commander also lets you create desktop shortcuts that you can click that will invoke PowerShell script blocks. To do this, use the new commander shortcut uh, commandlet, specify an action, which will be called when the shortcut is actually double clicked, uh, and then finally some text that you'd like to include uh, under the shortcut. So I am going to include, uh, or I'm going to create a calculator shortcut on my desktop. And now you can see I have calculator with the default PS Commander icon. And if I double click that, you're gonna actually see calculator opens. Um, so you can actually customize the icon here and the description that's shown when you hover over it and that kind of thing. So in this video, uh, we went over all the different features of PS Commander and how to update them in the config.ps1 file that's included with uh, Commander.